And welcome back everybody to a Sui Shares video with me on a beautiful day in the middle of September, guys. It's a Friday. It's Friday! And it doesn't even matter what day of the month it is. If it's Friday, it's a good day. You know what that means. It's Friday, guys. It's a day that I couldn't be more excited to have you here for a shave. So thank you so much for clicking into my link. And guys, if you're a newbie Subi shaver, never seen one of these videos, first time clicking in here, thank you so much. Go below and give me a thumb, give me a comment, and please be super helpful if you could subscribe to the channel. Because right now, guys, is a pinnacle point for the channel. We just are almost at the 350 mark. 350 guys i remember i was watching a couple of months like a month ago's videos we were at 35 guys we've 10 times the growth and i'm just so thankful for all of you for making this possible so guys huge shout out thank you so much for clicking in watching the videos and for being a part of them for commenting and supporting providing me enthusiasm providing me positivity and guys 100 percent of that subi smiles going out to you guys um today it's a special day, guys. Special day. I know you guys are sick of seeing it, but we're using the Durham door set eraser, guys. And I want to mention this. Yesterday, I did a video and I was like duplex, door set. I was all over the page. I was exhausted. I was really excited to do the video, but I got up and did it really early. <laughs> and guys, on the back side of this, and I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to Photoshop it in. You guys can see that lettering back there. It says Durham duplex okay and the reason why i got so confused yesterday this is a door set is because it said duplex in the back of this stupid razor and i knew it was a door set i bought a door set but it does say duplex um on the back of it it says durham duplex on the back so i got really confused and guys on top of that the version 2 hack i did with the cutouts on the plastic while it was fantastic i have come up with a better combination i have i think i have perfected how to use your durham door set or Durham duplex, any of those styled razors using an OEM blade, guys. Using an OEM or if you don't have OEM, guys, you know what you can do. You can create a blade um, shim using carpet cutter blades, guys. Carpet cutter blades. I ran out yesterday and guys, people shave with these. These are the Persona carpet cutter blades. And you want to make sure on the Persona blades, if you guys want to try this, you do not want this pointy part to be sharp. You want it to be rounded, right? Home Depot had all of those different ones and you want that to be rounded on that edge, guys. So that is exactly like what it looks like for a Durham Dorset. Again, you want that rounded edge to on there to make it a safe shaving blade. And I did try it yesterday, guys. I tried the carpet cutter blade on a leg and it shaved, it does shave. Maybe not the most gentle shave, okay? It is a little titchy bit rough, but it would work. I don't have any doubt that it would work. So guys, today I'm gonna to show you again how to load your AC razor blade into a Durham door set or duplex or whatever style Durham razor you have, even some of those shavettes this would work with using a standard or a carpet cutter blade. Guys, come with me, come with me. It's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be a Friday. And you know what that means? Friday, I know usually we do Friday Frankenstein. This is like a Frankenstein, guys. We're Frankenstein and a blade in there. But on top of that, we're gonna do a face shave. Friday face shave. Because I haven't done a face shave in a while with you guys. And I have stuff that I wanna use my head today on my head today, but it's kind of quiet. I'm doing a I'm doing a private head shave so that I have more information on something that's to come, guys. I did get the winning razor from the Wet Shaving Club. They sent it out to me. I'm gonna be part of their program called the Shave Sensei. So excited, it's gonna be awesome. But I don't wanna you know, put out about a, about a bunch of nonsense. So I'm gonna try the product out. I wanna see how it works, give it some time, and then start my review process so that I can be honest and thorough and transparent with you guys. That's 100% what I do here. I am transparent. If I don't like it, I will tell you guys, and I'm gonna to try to tell you guys why I don't like it, and or if I love it, why, and what I'm doing to make it work for me. That's what I do here. That's 100% why I wanted to do this and do it with razors that maybe don't get as much light. So that there's a you know a very honest, transparent channel that is going through the vintage or even some of the modern stuff. So that it's kind of, you know, demystified, right? Demystified, that's my goal. I just wanna demystify everything and make it usable. So guys, today for the face shape, we're using Tabac and Vanilla. Tabac and Vanilla for me by A&E is a Tom Ford match, guys. It's a, just a beautiful for Tabac at Vanilla. And it is just absolutely so nice. Spicy, you guys can see I've used a lot of it. I've got half of this gone. It's very dark soap, guys. It will stain your brush. It will stain it. So you wanna make sure to use a brush that's black. 
but it's such a pretty scent. You do get the vanilla, you do get the spicy, and you do get the tobacco all mixed together in one harmonious, beautiful scent. And I know it's pinup month, but come on, guys. That's about as pinup as you get, right? I know it's not part of the pinup series, but give me a break. It, Peter, this is definitely close. I love this scent. Love it, and I actually really like the art. I like the old, timely art style behind it. I think it's awesome. We're going to be using vanilla and uh, vende vendetta, vanilla vendetta from A&E on top, guys, to kind of bring out more of the vanilla aspect. I think it's a perfect pet match. And guys, this is the one I always use. You guys know if, I, if there's vanilla to it, it's my favorite vanilla scent. And I'm doing PDP on top of that because I also think it's a nice harmonious balance to the tobacco. It brings in the tobacco and all those spicy notes. And today, guys, my brush of choice came from my buddy Charles, uh, art, artisan and kind of a, a small time brush maker made it for him on Reddit. And he sent it over to me to try it out. This is this beautiful, I, 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 I can't remember the wood now. It's a tropical wood that resists water. I think it's a chocobolo. I, I believe it's a chocobolo wood. And take a look at this, guys. Take a look. Yeah, I'm positive it's chocobolo. Look at the lather on this, guys. Look at the lather. Oh, it's so good. Super shine. I know we don't talk about lather, but that is delicious. And it does have a slight tint to it, guys. I do want to mention that one more time. So if you do end up using a brown soap, just be aware. Okay. Guys, the Durham door set from 47, it's going to be on the face. It's going to be for this outdoorsman, because I'm going to be outdoors today, all working outside. And I wanted to show you guys how this fills and shaves on the face with the AC razor blade. And this is on its second shave, guys. I'm not going to remake a blade because it's still shaving phenomenal. I think I can get five, six full body shaves out of one of these blades. Phenomenal. Really good shaver. And again, guys... This is gonna be using these carpet cutter blades as a shim. And I really would like to do, I don't know if you guys would like to see it, because I'm not getting as much viewership and as much interest in these videos, but I would really like to do a shave off. Uh, shave three ways, you could say. Uh, do the Stanleys, the Personas, right? And then also do the AC blade all in one video and see which one shaves the best. The carpet cutter blades actually can keep up with an AC blade, and why not? And if they don't, how close is it? I just kind of think it'd be fun, um, but I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. So let me know in the comments below if that's something that sounds cool to you guys. Again, thank you for clicking in and for being part of this. Let's go below to the Subi Shaves hat cam and let's see how I do this. And here we go, guys. We're back on the Subi hat cam angle with the Durham door set from 1947, guys. It's the aluminum bodied razor that we've been using the past couple days. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the version three of how to hack this Durham door set razor, guys. And what I wanna show you guys today is I've been using a shim made of plastic, right? And me and my buddy Todd, we were talking about this and he said, well, why not use one of the blades that would usually fit for this razor, guys? And I kind of went back and forth with him. I didn't have any at the time. And so what I did is I took a special trip out yesterday and I picked up some carpet cutter blades, guys. Can you believe this? This is carpet cutter blades. These are not shaving blades. These are carpet cutter blades. Persona makes them. Check it out. Persona makes these carpet cutter blades. And this is one of the uh, Persona carpet cutter blades, guys. And they actually come in nice paper like this. And they actually shave fairly well for being a carpet cutter blade, not being a, a, a you know, a uh, a blade that's designed for shaving because I have the three facets. So it's not designed for shaving. But what I wanted to do is I came home and I removed the blade edge from this razor, guys. I just stoned it off. These are not sharp now. And then what I did is I coated it. I actually took some um, water resistant coating and I coated the blade because it's carbon steel. So now we have a blade that will not rust, that is not sharp, and it becomes more like a loading plate. And at this point, guys, right, I dremeled it off. I took a stone and I dremeled off the edges. So you guys know I used a dremel tool to do that. And then all you have to do, guys, is you just take that, that carpet cutter blade. And I found with my Durham door set, guys, when I, what, these little, um, little notches in the back here must be a little loose on my model because these tabs are not, they're not fully exposed. So when I put this on, I actually had to lift the razor by putting pressure on the bottom of it like this. I had to put some pressure on those bottom tabs and then they just slide right on. And this is the OEM styled blade placement, guys. And I know it seems kind of wacky. It's it's uh, partially just because my razor is old. 
But yeah, I had to actually put some pressure up there to get that blade to fully seat. And I know it's fully seated because it is flush with the actual razor base plate. You guys see that? I just took my thumb and put some pressure upward while putting pressure on the blade downward. Now, I wouldn't want to do that with a sharp blade. Very, I'd be doing it very, very cautiously, but it's not sharp, so I'm not super worried. Then what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to grab our feather blade. And I have been showing this. I showed it in the last two videos. I actually cut the tabs in the back of this. This is the same razor, guys. And I didn't want to throw away a razor that's still shaving well, so I kept it. But if you're curious on how I did that, I used a puncher tool. And then you just load your blade in, right? Just like that. And because it has full pressure, guys, from the blade underneath of it, I feel like it shaves a little bit better than the plastic with plastic because it's got that it's going to have some minor warping to it because it's plastic, right? It's not, it's not sturdy. It's not going to create a perfect flush tension. The metal, the, the metal plate is going to create a more rigid tension, which just feels a little nicer as it glides across the skin. Um, also, guys, this makes it so you don't have to make blades. You know what I mean? You're not having to cut or produce anything. At this point, I like to grab my blade bank, guys, my blade bank. This is the feather blade bank. And I just adjust it so that it has the blade gap that I want, or blade exposure that I want, guys. And I'm finding that to be um, to the point that's pretty mild. And because I'm not dealing with the shim underneath moving all the time, it's very easy to adjust for. Get a little bit picky with it. There we go. And then we just take it, guys, slide it right on. And it is a little bit tight, just so you guys are aware, but tight's a good thing, right? So that you can do this kind of stuff, and it's going to not move around. There you guys go. That is the Durham Dorset Razor loaded with an OEM blade shim. You guys can see this blade back here is almost a little bit like it. It's not a blade, though. It's just a dull edge. But you guys can see, we have a feather blade exposed on this side, and she's ready to shave. Let's go do it. And welcome back, guys, from the Subi Hat Cam. And I hope that makes sense to everybody. I hope you're like, oh, I have an OEM blade. I can do that, and I don't have to make the plastic shim, guys. I want you to come with me right now. <laughs> Join me. And huge shout out again to Todd. Thank you so much, buddy, for going back and forth with me on this. Here's my plastic shim. <laughs> In the trash can. In the trash can, because we're just going to be using this going forward, because it really is a better feeling uh, shave on the face, because it's so rigid on that base plate. There's no chatter, no 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 uh, room for wiggle. You know what I mean when I'm when it's going through the hair follicle with the metal blade underneath. So this for me is the best way to do it. The version three guys, all the way, hundred percent. And it's been a process. It's been a learning experience, and I'm really excited to be able to showcase this today. And honestly, I feel like the plastic underneath, guys, is maybe a little bit more forgiving. Honestly, it does provide a little bit more forgiving nature to the razor. I noticed yesterday when I was shaving with it, and we're killing this, by the way. This is the Renegade Shave Tub, and it's maybe got one more day. Um, not doing the face. Not doing the face. Doing the face, not the head. Uh, I noticed yesterday when I was doing this razor, guys, that it did feel like it was going to be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more efficient with that solid base plate underneath, you know what I mean? So what I ended up doing was backing that razor blade out even further so there was less exposure. So it even can, it, and that also could be because it's getting more gap with that amount of razor blade underneath it. It could be a lot of things. I am not a scientist. <laughs> I just know when I put it to my skin, I was like, Whoop, I'm gonna back that out and got an awesome, awesome, awesome leg shave, a uh, partial leg shave with uh, the, the the new base plate. So we're gonna try it out today. This is the first maiden voyage, guys. Maiden voyage on the face with the Feather AC Pros. Um, guys, these are the Feather AC Pro blades, the professional blades. Um, they're not the ultra sharp. I believe that the supers are still sharper, but these are a really nice blade for me and they're going to have that blade placement with the OEM carpet cutter style blade. And I did want to mention, I thought it was really cool. So when I was talking to my buddy Todd, um, a lot of people that have used these, you know, they, they do tend to like the pathology blades more. I think there's definitely a, a, a mixture of people out there that one, they prefer one or the other. Man, this is looking really good, guys. This is looking really good. But... Um, Either will work for the situation. Either will work to make your uh, razor plate. And he was like, why haven't you done it with the OEM blade? And I was like, 
You know, that's a good question. <laughs> I just don't have one. And they're really easy to find, guys. Honestly, I went to Home Depot and people are like, what are you here for? I'm like, oh, I don't want to tell you I'm here to buy shaving blades because that's not usually what you people are <laughs> probably accustomed to hearing. Okay, let's do this thing. Face shave. Oh, man. On my face, it just smells so good, guys. Again, this is a very, very shallow angle. And on its second shave, guys, this blade still feels brand new. Um, keep in mind, these blades are not cheap. I think I paid $18 for 20. So these are not cheap blades. The carbon cutter blades were surprisingly cheap. <laughs> Shockingly cheap. Like, I think I paid $12 for 100. And I was told that the carbon cutter blades you want are those Armor Edge. If you're going to do this, you want the armor edge. So <laughs> I did grab armor edges. Yeah, I'm going to say this is definitely a little bit more efficient. With the carpet cut, with the blade underneath, with the carpet cutter blade underneath, guys. There us go. You guys saw how I could do that, though. I came in and I used the, like, I used kind of a weird angle to get that last little bit like you would on uh, like a shavette style guys because this is technically a shavette razor right it used to, the persona blade started or i mean the durham blade started guys they started as a uh kind of a shavette style razor as a straight razor that you would load a straight razor that had a bar to it it was kind of a weird concept it was a, it was a mixture between safety razor and straight razor and then the ac razor is de designed for for shavettes and look at this, look at the closeness guys. And I love it, this razor is phenomenal and they're affordable. There's one right now for 25 bucks on the bay, 25 bones. And it uses an AC blade now because we figured out how to do it. And AC blades tend to, you know, usually tend to be pretty expensive. The Cobras and even the new Claymore, it's like 150, 200 bucks. And you can get this guy for 25, do some modding and have yourself an AC shave. That's gonna be phenomenal. Man, for a second shave, guys, I can't get over how nice this blade feels. I don't really reuse DE blades very often, but I really think I can get away with using this a couple times. Good blade fill. Really nice blade uh, blade feedback. Wow, I can't get over this, guys. I'm on 30 hours of growth right now. Look at that line. The line is so close and it's so good. No complaints, guys. No complaints. I'm going to have to use a little water even on my soap. It definitely got my beard too good. Look at this. <laughs> I love that soap. That soap just stays, like, does not come off easy. I can tell you that much. Does not come off easy. And it smells so good. Oh, it smells amazing. That cinnamony, I, I don't know. It, it, it also works for me for fall. Oh, just because of that smell. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's phenomenal. <laughs> it's super good. Oh, we did it, Todd. We did it, dude. Oh, yeah. Cool, super cool. All right, I'm a fan. Oh, look at my cheek line, guys. Look. <laughs> Durham door set, guys, with the standard blade, it is phenomenal. It's a great shave. And the fact that I'm doing this on day two, guys, day two is even better. I think that AC blade even feels better on the second shave than it does the first shave, if you can believe that. And that's a full, I use that on my full body. That's on my fourth shave, third shave, because I did, a, I did a leg shave with it too. I did a full body once, I did a leg shave, and then I also did my head and face the other day. So it's, it's been through the registry, and the thing is, I threw the other one away. I may, I may go dig that out of my blade bank, because I threw the other one away after I made it, and I think it probably could shave three or four more times at least. It's a really good razor blade for me, guys. Really good in this razor. And these are blades I did not like inside of the Yachi um, raster. I did not like it, and they feel really good in this razor. So that's great. I get to keep the blades and get good shaves. That's never a bad thing, right? Oh, and Charles, thank you so much. I want to just take a second and wipe this down and talk a little bit about Charles. Charles is a guy that 
has su supported me and been a great friend. And I just want to say thank you to my buddy Charles. Charles, Jeremy, Tarl. Thank you guys so much. The guys, Cole, and they keep coming back supporting the channel and sending the channel things so that we can show things here. Guys, look how pretty this is. This is super cool. This chocobola wood's really pretty. And it's just giving me a phenomenal lather today. Phenomenal. It's a little soft. It's a fan brush, guys. It's a um, synthetic fan brush. It's very soft bristles. But I'm still getting a great lather out of it. All right, let's do it. Let's stop jabbing and let's see how she does. The blades have smoothed out so much. I'm going to show you guys this. You guys see all that stubble in there? Up, especially on that right side. It's a pretty large bar, so you're not going to see as much stubble you know, inside as you would with like my head shave. But really nice. Like I said yesterday, I really feel like when I'm shaving with this razor, guys, I I tend to not let the full blade contact the skin because it's kind of a it's a really long blade, guys. Really long blade. I don't know if that's normal for these kind of razors, but I'll like go in and like lift the razor up a little bit and then kind of go at an angle on small spots that I have a hard time getting. I think if you're doing underneath your nose, you'd have to do the same thing, kind of take it to an angle and kind of go underneath. But it's just, it's a learning process with these larger blades. This is like my, I think, probably my 20th face shave with it. And I'm finally feeling confident with like kind of maneuvering around. So if you own one of these and you kind of shave with it and you're coming from the DE world, it may feel a little odd to you. It definitely felt odd to me. But that doesn't make it bad or something to be scared of like we talked yesterday. Don't be scared of it, just respect it. Go a little bit slower. Learn how the blade is contacting with the skin and prosper guys and prosper oh i wanted to mention that really strongly yesterday because i just feel like for me personally whenever i fear something you know i get that ghost the only way to get rid of it is to do it you know whatever scared me just go do it oh wow phenomenal guys thank you for being here for today's shave i hope this is cool for you it's been really cool for me i love the razor the Art Deco style razor is absolutely one of my favorite, um, like kind of eras, you know what I mean? And I love that genre, like the Goodwills. I think that, you know, the late 30s, early 40s were a really cool time in razor, safety razor history. And they made beautiful razors. And guys, look at the way they shave. Look, look at this shave. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I can't, can't thank you enough. I hope you guys' this Fridays are phenomenal. I hope you go into the weekend strong hit it hard guys and have wonderful days i will talk to you guys after i'm done with the lawn